me for having days like today. Yeah. Days like today. Sorry about you. Tad devotion on today to all come together and just sing your name. Thanks. Amen. Amen. Awesome. All right. So today, um, um, basically, just the title of our devotion is being with one another. I would just said, you know, we're really blessed to be with one another in today's community. I have a safe place to do this because it's very, very rare places in the world we can be with this with uh, other Greek believers. So I think we're all just going to read um, a line out of a couple chapters of the Bible that talks about um, being one another. So um, my first date is Mark 9.50, and it says, Be at peace with each other. Um, John 13, 14, wash one another's feet, be humble with each other. John 13 and 30 through 34, I love one another. And John 13, 34 through John 15 through 17 is love one another. It is said about five times in John. And then for number eight, Romans 12, 12, 10, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. And Romans 12, 10 also says, <clears throat> honor one another above yourselves. Romans 12, 16 says, live in harmony with one another. Love one another, Romans 13, 8. Romans 14, 13 says, stop passing judgment on one another. Romans 15, 7 says, accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you. Romans 15, 14, instruct one another. Romans 16, 16, greet one another with a holy kiss. 1 Corinthians 11, 33, when you come together to eat, wait for each other. 1 Corinthians 12, 25 says, have equal concern for each other. 1 Corinthians 16, 20 says, greet, you, greet one another with a holy kiss, and it is said again in 2 Corinthians 13, 12. And then in Galatians 15, 13, it says, serve one another in love. And then Galatians 5, 15, it says, if you keep on fighting and devouring each other, you will destroy each other. And then in Galatians 5, 26, it says, let us not be conceited, provoking and envying each other. Galatians 6, 2 says, carry each other's burdens, and then Ephesians 4, 2 says, be patient, bearing with each other in love. Um, instead of also giving the verses, I'm just going to read back over so you can kind of hear the repetition. Be kind and compassionate to one another, for be forgiving to one another. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. In humility, consider others better than yourselves. Do not lie to each other. Bear with each other. Forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Teach one another. Admonish one another. Make your love increase and overflow with for each other. Love each other. Encourage each other. Encourage each other. Build each other up. Encourage one another. Encourage one another daily. Spur one, one another on with love and good deeds. Encourage one another. Do not slander one another. Do not grumble against each other. Confess your sins to each other. Pray for each other. Love one another deeply from the heart. Live in harmony with one another. Love each other deeply. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. Clothe yourself with humility towards one another. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Love one another, 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 love one another. So there are 59 one another's in the New Testament, and really less than 5% of the population of homeschools. And within that 5%, not all are Christians. So I'll, I know some of you may have come from public school, some of you may have come from private school or homeschooling at home, but if we don't give each other grace, when we mess up, because it's not if we mess up, it's when we mess up, the world's not going to. So, I mean, we've really tried to work with each other to say, let's love one another, let's forgive one another, let's bear with one another, because sometimes that can be hard. Um, but I wanted them to share, if you guys are okay, just some encouragement on what you found being in Challenge 4 so far after having gone through A through 3, if there's any wisdom that you can impart. <laughs> I'll go first, I guess. <laughs> um, it is all worth it. All the hard work, all the science, all the math, all the debates, it all pays off in the end. And 
I remember in Challenge A, I used to hate public speaking. I used to dread it. Worst part of my day. You know, I hated it, especially debates. But now I've grown to love it and enjoy it. And it, through CC, I've just grown. So it is all worth it. Let me ask you a question. Did you? How did you get through any difficulties with your fellow students? Did you ever cry? Lots of crying. <laughs> <laughs> you just fight it out. And the contact is great. So how did you? How were you able to love one another? I mean, kind of in that context. I've just been blessed with a great class everywhere I've been, so I haven't really had many struggles. But yeah, I, I honestly haven't. So I think something that really helps too is that in class we really get to know each other and we develop this really great dynamic. So I think by becoming closer through working together in class, we kind of avoid any sort of you know, arguments or things like that because we begin to know each other as you know children of God and as fellow sisters and brothers. Can I add that they do disagree on things what? and they know how to manage that disagreement they know how to talk through it and not get angry and and love each other through their disagreements so and i've seen that throughout the the process of us moving around so much and how mine has grown in understanding both sides yeah. Yeah. the other thing is we're all we all have a sense of humor and we're all able to laugh at ourselves so when we do disagree, when there are things that could turn into conflict, we're all really sarcastic, which sometimes is good and sometimes is probably not the best way to handle situations. But we're all able to like laugh things off, and nobody takes things personally. Somebody may say something that could be interpreted as like a rude joke or whatever, and everybody just laughs it off, and we're fine. So I think through debate we've learned uh, we're just fine disagreeing. Cherish your class as a safe place to talk about real problems. Because I found that a lot when I try to talk to other people, uh, they shut down, and I can't have a civil conversation with them. But when I come to class, I can talk about anything in class, and people will fight me on it. And then we'll all come to like one conclusion: like, what does the Bible say about this, and how are we applying this to our real lives, and what is true, and like, what should we be doing? So I think it's just that's why I love. It. That's why you guys should all love your classes because like it's just a safe place to be able to. So is challenge for the hardest level so far? No. 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 It's so Are you people in three? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Good luck. Thank you. Two of the best here. Okay, and last but not least, what we wanted to kind of end up with, and we're hoping that we can keep this um, for the year, is one of the, the verses that they read is pray for one another. So scripture tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything. By prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So we really love when we get together for devotionals that if you do have a prayer request, that we can write it on here and we can pray for you as a community. But if also, if God has done something really wonderful for you that with Thanksgiving, we can give him honor and praise for that, um, it's, a, it's a good balance. Like, and my family right now, my mom's dealing with cancer, and they don't know God. So the fact that I could come to you guys and say, can I write this down and have you all pray? The prayers of a of righteous people availeth much. And when two or more are gathered in his name, he's there too. So if you have a prayer request and you want to come by on the board and just write it down, because I know sometimes it's hard to share it out loud, you're welcome to do that. We will leave this in here, but it would be great like next uh, month when Challenge 3 does this that we can look on here and see if there's other things that maybe we need to just say, yay, that prayer was answered. Or, hey, guys, I noticed that when I was in the lunchroom. Let's, let's pray about that. So if one of you gentlemen want to end us in prayer, unless you guys have any other words of wisdom you want to share. Don't procrastinate. Oh, yeah, don't procrastinate. Procrastinate is the best. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll pray because yay me. <laughs> Dear Jesus, uh, just thank you for today. Thank you for letting us all get here safely. Just help us have a good day in class. Thank you for these classmates as we can just go through life with them and just experience life and just grow and learn. 
and just help us as this day may take a while or just maybe really short. And just thank you for lunch. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How amazing. How awesome is that? I never had this in my public school experience. I'm so thankful that we're part of a community and a program that supports this experience. How awesome, just such a blessing, such a blessing. I, I thank God for um, this, this, this awesome, the opportunity to homeschool and uh, to do it in this environment. What are you thankful for in your community?